Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the La Mission du L'Atelier. This is the 1989 size, which is a 5.6 by 54 Toro. Rated at full strength. I've had it for a month. I got it at the local smoke shop for about 11 bucks. Did a straight cut on there. Mmm. Sweet and spicy. I saw a tasty note of uh, baking spices and a touch of anise. I would agree with that. Wrapper, San Andreas, made in Nicaragua. So uh, let's get this thing lit up. So Cigars International says, L'Atelier stands out on a mission, or sets out on a mission. La Mission de L'Atelier Roughly translated to the mission of the workshop, was inspired by a French winery renowned for strong and hearty red wines. L'Atelier is known as a small batch producer of exquisite cigars, and with Mission du L'Atelier, they've outdone themselves. Hailing from the My Father factory in Esteli, Nicaragua, the cigar is the strongest blend yet for a L'Atelier. Coming dressed in a Mexican San Andres wrapper over Nicaraguan long fillers, including the revered Sancti Spiritus leaf. The cigar is stunning in appearance. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking cigar. Nice looking band there. Medium to full bodied and box pressed with a pigtail cap the cigar includes robust notes of chocolate, pepper, coffee, leather, and wood, and boasts complexity and depth of flavor. The cigar is an enhancing or an enchanting and pleasurable cigar and will soon occupy the top shelves of humidors everywhere. You see that? A little uneven burn there. La Mission du L'Atelier received top 25 honors for 2015, number 17 overall. I'm not sure with who. A uh, well-deserved 93 rating, noting the blend is impressive, especially in the 1959 size, that's the Robusto, this is the Toro, which shows a savory leather note, sweet baking spices, and a touch of anise. Hmm. A little black spot there is a little temperamental. Wow. This thing really wants to uh, flare up, doesn't it? Makes me wonder, and that's makes me wonder those big old flames, and it's burning right there. It's odd. I think that's a little better now. I thought my uh, brim of my hat was going to ignite there. So I got these from the maker, uh, Casey Johnson, brother of the other Johnson. <laughs> I'm forgetting his name right now. Pete Johnson. P of Tatuaje, my father fame. Makes a lot of good cigars. Yep, got this in an event. It was recommended by him. And I can see why this is pretty good. So full strength, but medium to full body is how they described it. I gotta look more on the Sancti Spiritus leaf. I've heard of that a few times. Kinda curious what that's all about. Although it's putting out a ton of smoke, as you can see, the draw is, i got to work pretty hard to get that. So hopefully that loosens up a little bit there, but it's putting off a lot of smoke. Wow, that's nice. Hmm. Getting different flavors through the retrohale, too. Wow, this is a, uh, so far, I mean, just starting in, little complexity bomb, I think. And I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, Tatuaje, my father, that whole gang. 54 ring gauge. This seems a little bigger than that, but that's what it says. This reminds me that I prefer 50 more than 4, but it's a gentle box press, it looks like. I think this is going to be a solid cigar, so let's keep going, see uh, what happens.
about 35 minutes into this La Mission du At La Atelier. It's going pretty quick, actually. <clears throat> More than halfway in, getting close to that band. Uh, it's performing great. The draw, um, it, it's a good draw, and it's good smoke output coming off of the foot, and good smoke out, out, output overall. But I have to give it a couple puffs to get what I want out of it. I'm not really sure why. It, I think it's because it's a it's a loose pack and a soft box press. Um, the ash is on the flaky side, although right now it's the firmest it's been. And the thing that I noticed that's interesting about this is that it's white on the outside for the wrapper and I think the binder, and it's black on the inside where the filler is. Now the Sancti Spiritus, what a cool name for tobacco, right? It almost sounds uh, cosmic of some kind. Uh, it's a tobacco leaf grown by the Oliva family with the seed with the seed from the Garcia family. It is a hybrid of Criollo and Pele de Oro and was designed as a replacement seed for Pele de Oro. I guess they use that uh, Sancti Spiritus in uh, wrapper on some of their other cigars. Here it's filler. Fairly even burn, no touch-ups or relights required. Um, it's doing real well. Uh, it's really got a nice aroma and flavor. Definitely digging it. No harshness at all. And I haven't drank anything since I lit this thing up. But like I said, it's going quick. That might be because I'm double, triple puffing it as I go to get what I want out of it. Smooth retro hail. And the, and the only danger of double, triple puffing like that is overheating it and getting any harshness. But that hasn't happened yet. So that's a good sign. While I'm here, let's get this band off, see how easy it is. Piece of cake. So, pretty nice looking wrapper there. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the place I went to in the Dominican Republic, Cigar Rings, made that because, man, it is pretty fancy. Embossed, you can see some. there's some gold in that. Pretty good looking cigar, pretty good looking wrapper. It'll be interesting to see sometimes when these uh, loosely packed cigars get towards the end, these, they start um, almost being like exploding cigars. Not always, but you can you can feel this one's kind of soft. No matter though, air is getting through, combustion's working fine. Really enjoying it so far. Yeah, this is, it is nice, all around nice. Some sweetness there. I'm digging it, so let's keep going. I'm going to wrap this review of this La Mission du La Atelier 1989, hour and 25 minutes in. Um, yeah, a little on the quick side, but pleasurable throughout. It's starting to get a little warm now, so I'm going to wrap it up here pretty soon. So appearance, great looking, and it's holding together fine. Loose pack or whatever, it's it's fine. No problem there. Shows you the band, that's great. <clears throat> Burn, even throughout. No canoeing, no unevenness, nothing. No touch-ups, no relights, great smoke output. Feel a little tingle, but that might be just because I'm getting towards the end here and it's warming up a little bit. Uh, aroma's great. The ash is better now than it was, so midway through the tobacco is a little uh, better put together. It didn't flower out and fall off all over the place. So great burn, great aroma, nice flavor throughout. It was pretty consistent, not any overwhelming changes in the aroma or the taste that I could really notice, but it was smooth throughout. No harshness at all, so that's really a bonus. Strength, I wouldn't say full. I would say medium plus, not even medium full. I, I'm just not feeling any strength in there, but it seems like it has decent body. I rated this a 96. You know, I might as well just rate them all 96. I mean, I got so many there, but this is pretty close to top 10 territory. This ranks higher than a lot of others. I didn't think it would rate above. It's quality through and through. Great construction, great performance. Just a great cigar all around. So once again, this has been the La Mission du Atelier. Sounds kind of cool, huh? I'm Chris at Stogie Palace. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos and I'll see you later.